real life, it's a dreary, rainy Monday afternoon, but here in virtual Bolivia, it's a, it's a virtual paradise. Look at this. We're in the salt flats. This is actually the first time I'm in the salt flats, and it's gorgeous, but uh, we've got an enormous base over there. I don't know if you see these gasoline convoys and uh, only that patrols, but it's too dangerous for me. We're not even supposed to be here. If you look at where we are on the map, it's it's pretty far out from where you start out. This is where you start out in the game, and we are all the way in the upper left-hand corner. This is the legendary Salt Flat, and it's it's pretty legit. It's pretty awesome. But we're not going to be exploring the Salt Flats. I'm just teasing you guys, just showing you the beauty of it before we go back to the forest. Because I thought it'd be fun if we went after some bounty hunting today, and we're gonna be doing it in a duster. A Mad Max style duster. We also have some new guns, which we're going to be using for our bounty hunting. So check these things out. We got a G36C. We got a super shorty shotgun. Check it out, man. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that thing. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah! Now, if you wonder how I got this, I found it in a military compound, and uh, let's just leave it at that. And if you're wondering how I'm going to be bounty hunting, because, you know, I work for the United States government and I'm a ghost. Well, I am not killing these guys to free Bolivia. I'm not killing these guys for the rebellion. Uh, see, whenever you kill one of these buchos or buchons, and then you kill one of the heads of security or maybe one of the underbosses, you get a gun, like the M4A1 or uh, Experimento Number 42 or El Abesquio, whatever that is. You get a gun whenever you kill someone, so we are bounty hunting for guns. I'm killing these guys for fun and for guns, not for Bolivia, and I feel like a bit of a dick right now, but whatever. It's guns! Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs, run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzida must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. Sounds like a plan. We got hey. some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzida. Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a Mepi, a Mexican preppy, or a Prepsican if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D. Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. What Carzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before. And it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Prepsican? Prepsican? That's fantastic. Also, um, can we watch that again? The, the, the pictures of intel that she had were very entertaining. I, I, I mean, informative. Very, very informative. I'm getting some information right now, actually. Alright, looks like we're gonna find our first piece of major intel just outside of town. Which is nice, because we are right inside of Alicia Town right here. Right now. I'm on your Perfect. Six. All we gotta do is head to the outskirts without being seen. I'm seeing a few patrols on my radar, but nothing too serious. And uh, looks like they're actually stationed near the helipad, which we are not even close to, so that's good. And I am outfitted for both Rambo combat and silenced Ghost Recon combat. So we can play this any number of ways, which is the best part of Ghost Recon, is the fact that you can play the game... <laughs> I thought I just crushed my leg. You can play the game how you want to play it. We can play it like Rambo. Or we can be nice and quiet. And you know what? We are going to play like Rambo a little bit, but right now I'm just going to be nice and quiet. I want to be clean, professional, and this is going to be tight. This is going to be real tight. We got some hostiles. I'm not exactly sure where they are. It looks like they're on the inside. Yeah. Damn it, I 
don't see any of these guys. Perhaps again. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! Oh fuck! Oh! Jesus Christ! I forgot I was on Grenade Launcher. Oh man, that is not a good setting to forget about. That is not good. Also, the head, the HUD is off. These so. advertisements for cartel-owned resort give its location. <laughs> Doing damage to there would fuck Carzita's business sideways. <laughs> oh my God! Let's turn the HUD back on. Can we do that, please? Just, just real quick. Just, just, just real quick. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh man! All right. I promise I won't let that happen again. There we go. All right. Cool. 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 That's that's what I needed. Beautiful. Oh, we already saw that. All right, cool. I don't know why she's trying to show us that again. Let's see if we can find that resort. I want to check that out. I need to let off some stress. That was pretty fucking awesome, though. Hang on, I'll Just... drive. I thought I was gonna have to headshot both in the quick succession, but we kind of took care of that, didn't we? All right. Where's the next piece of intel? Let's get some juice on this Carzita. The Prepsicant. God, I love that name. Reach the resort's parking lot. Carzita's resort is a getaway for the rich and powerful from all over the world, including Lindsay Lohan, apparently. And power, uh, we need to convince the cartel's guests that it's no longer a safe place to stay, raid the resort, and cause as much- Today Oh, fuck yeah! resort out of business. Give it the full rock star treatment. Just don't hurt any of the guests. Oh, god damn. Mm-mm-mm. All right, I'm gonna replace my entire getup here. Let's go with uh, her AK-47, which is invisible right now, but it's got a drum. There it is. Drum magazine looks like something straight out of Borderlands, and second weapon is gonna be the super shorty shotgun. We're gonna rock and roll. The name's Nukem, Duke Nukem. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. I totally forgot that we are the United States, so we can't hurt any civilians. I was Kind of wondering, like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't she want us to hurt them? Why wouldn't that be okay? Oh, we're not evil. That's right. I forget about that sometimes. Can't wait to see this resort. It's gonna be baller. It's a pretty place. Look at this. It's actually beautiful. Well, okay. <laughs> it's actually beautiful, and I look at the shanty part. Now, it really is. The human constructs are ugly as sin because, I mean. It is third world, but, but, the nature is gorgeous, jaw-dropping. You know, the graphics are really good too, so, you got that. Now, looks like this is the bridge to the resort. Hey, they got sound barriers up. Fancy. I'm expecting some Jurassic World looking shit, like it's straight out of the, uh, uh, guest complex or business complex. Is this the place? You know, let's just drive up. This is a pretty nice looking car. We don't have any bullet holes in it yet. Looks like an Escalade. Which is like the car for gangsters, so it's not very inconspicuous, but that's weird. Guard post is open, looks a little run down. Somebody's already shooting the place up. Heron says, I'm hearing this game is really, really buggy. It actually isn't that buggy. I heard that too. I've seen a lot of YouTubers uh, making those videos where it, they only show bugs and stuff like that, and it's kind of misrepresented the game, because uh, Ubisoft and Ghost Recon Team gave me the game about a week early, a week before its release, and I've played for, I want to say, 10 hours, or my girlfriend and I have played for around 12 hours total, combined, and I haven't really run into a lot of bugs. I've run into a few bugs, but I don't know that they won't patch for one thing, and... The bugginess is really, I think, people, oh shit, having some bad luck, and also those YouTubers, you know, just exaggerating for views or whatever. Fuck. Alright, we gotta, we gotta be a little smart about this, so we're supposed to, actually wait, don't hurt any of the guests. Can we hurt the, what the, what the, alright, it's making me out to be a liar, but <laughs> shit like that doesn't happen very often. I mean, it happens in GTA too, but, uh, let's get to the parking lot. I think we can kill guards. She didn't say don't kill guards, she said don't kill civilians. I got a over here. Tell me where. There, by the pool. Oh, shit. Is that a Sicario? 
We'll send the drone out in a second. I'm gonna turn uh, subtitles on for you guys because I forgot about that. I was doing a whole no HUD thing earlier. Alright. Oh, subtitles are already on. Okay. Because not all the audio has subtitles. Alright, Mr. Droney, what do you see? Going drone. I can't see squat. I don't see jammed. You have a jammer? That's pretty fancy. Apparently this Karzita is anticipating this attack that we're about to uh, bestow upon it as our gift. A gift from the United States of America. It's actually kind of funny. The United States of America ordered an attack on his resort. Okay, new plan. We're gonna steal this Lambo, and we're gonna just drive right into the parking lot. And that's what we're gonna do, because I feel like that's the best way to blend it. Oh shit, it's got an alarm. Does it? Oh, it's the radio. Never mind. Woo! <laughs> I'm a little on edge. I got an AK-47, a uh, super shorty shotgun. This is about to get ugly. All we're gonna do is get to the parking lot. We'll be good. I was really tempted by that ramp, but we're doing this professional. Real professional, like real classy, all right? We gotta be classy about this. We got a Lambo, we got a super shorty. Let's do it right. Is that a guard? That's, I don't know. He's holding his arms out, but he doesn't have a gun. It's one of those really tiny pistols. All right, they're suspecting us, but uh, we're currently in the parking lot. Let's just park where the arrow is. This ain't the place I don't know it is. We're shooting everything just to scare off the VIPs and get Carzita back here. So it won't earn you the Medal of Honor. Just don't shoot any civilians. You said it, don't shoot any civilians. I'm gonna shoot the guards. All right, let's do this! God damn! Yo, what if I'm a guest? What if I'm uh, Tom Hardy from the set of Mad Max? <laughs> That kind of would make sense, actually. Holy shit, this place turned into a goddamn war zone. Is that a guest? God, I really actually hate this. I was excited about this mission, but it's so hard to tell the guests apart from the guards! Until they start shooting at you, but then it's too late. Oh god, where are these guys? We got some behind us, too. Shit. Come on, baby, come on. Slowest grenade in the world. There we go. Grenade must have been Bolivian made. What else we got? What else we got? I think that's all of them. All right, let's just keep this position. Holy shit, they got a helicopter. Perfect getaway vehicle. Recoil on this thing is crazy. Still, if you're gonna use an AK-47, you may as well have a drum magazine. We should take cover inside of the building. This place is too wide open. I mean, we got the mini map to tell us where they are, but they're coming at us from all sides. It's too dangerous. It's just, it's just not smart. Oh my god, climb the stairs. There we go, there we go, there we go. You know what? High ground. Obi-Wan Kenobi knew what he was talking about. High ground is the place to be. Man down, man down. You know, for a resort, this place of security is baller. This is insane. Oh, I guess, you know, he is uh, part of the drug cartel, so... <laughs> he really has the hands on the best security in uh, Bolivia, aside from the Unidad forces. Shit, we've lost a lot of guys. Uh, we have at least two men down. I have one alive, but that's not going to be enough for this battle. Alright, let's see if we can go in for a revive. Shit. This is not gonna go well. God damn. <laughs> it just stabbed him in the neck. How do you revive someone by stabbing them in the neck? Oh, super shorty, I love you. Check this out. Yo, watch this. Bam! Damn, that's a lot of blood. Oh, super shorty is what's up. Holy shit, we got a helicopter above. Ah, uh, damn, they're destroying their own resort. Bill Carzita's shitting his pants right now. I mean, his re his resort is going to shit. It really is. Oh god damn, those are reinforcements. They got like four gangbangers hanging off of this heli. Yes, hold on. Oh, 
Nice. Helicopter went down. Hey, we still have a guest here. What the hell are you doing? Get the hell out of here! Eyes up. Let's get back to work. I think the rest of these guests are gonna check out. A bunch of dudes shooting off guns tends to have that effect. I don't know. She seems okay. She's just holding her heads like... like uh, it's just like an earthquake. A few minutes it'll pass. Helicopter. Maybe she get experiences down. this in L.A. Earthquakes. Gang invasions. Same, same. Shit. That's, uh, that's an Indiana helicopter, so let's get out of here. Indiana helicopters are nothing to be messed with. Crap. Yeah, we got too many gangbangers around us. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not going to use the Lambo. I'm going to use the helicopter because I feel like that'll be a lot safer. It'll be harder for the Unidad helicopter to hit us if we're in a helicopter ourselves. If we're in a Lambo, they'll probably be able to smoke us in no time. Oh shit, this thing's got guns. It's got mini guns. This is really stupid of me, but I'm gonna see if I can take this thing out. Just make sure they won't crash into it. So helicopters are pretty difficult to control in this game. Oh my god! Oh, that was close! Shit, shit, shit! Bad idea! Horrible idea! Wait, wait, that was a good hit! Damn, that was a good hit! Alright, Unidad helicopter is down, but we're definitely on the Unidad radar now. I didn't realize this, but we actually weren't on their radar before. We were on the gangbangers radar, and the Unidad just showed up because there was a lot of shit going down. But they weren't there for us. They were there because of the altercation itself, but now they're here for us. So, uh, good job, me. Is this a golf course? It kinda looks like it. it's very well manicured. Nice. Nice. We have lost us, and this is a golf course. Holy shit, that guy's playing golf in the middle of a gang war. Alright, um, this got a little crazy, but I'm gonna just park the helicopter right here. And we're gonna get those files. We got some more intel that we need. Unfortunately, we, we really did turn this place into a war zone, so uh, we had to enact some stealth tactics. I'm gonna swap out our AK-47 with a drum magazine. And I'm gonna swap in my G36C silenced. Actually, you know what? Sniper rifle over the uh, assault rifle. And instead of the super shorty shotgun, we'll use the G36C. Alright, good, 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 good. I'm gonna keep the Mad Max uniform though, because I like that. It's cool. It's kitschy. Alright, just a bunch of guests, I guess. Oh shit. I like how none of these civilians are caring about this guy just getting shot in the head, in the middle of the street. Yo, cartel Look at that guy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> you know, that truck had the right idea. He was so fucking scared about what's happening in this resort, he didn't care who he was mowing down to get his ass out. That would be me. Now, I mean, it's Bolivia. There's a gang war going on. You really think you're gonna be a. Who the hell is this? Shit, I really should have interrogated him, shouldn't I have? Hey! Nice cartridge bill. So he's got 38 specials. We got the location of a cartel-owned casino. Let's bring a war to that casino and see how long Carzita could stay away. Oh, hell yeah. More destruction. Where's the casino? Oh, same little island. I guess this is his resort island. Makes sense, because, you know, everything outside the resort island is pretty much the opposite of resort. Uh, I guess we'll take the helicopter. It's not that far, but whatever. Cozita's entertainment complex includes a lavish casino for the exclusive enjoyment of his guests. Raiding the casino and destroying its gambling machines and gambling tables will force it to shut down and upset the VIPs. We need to send a message that Carzita's resort isn't the safe haven the cartel claims it to be. Hit the casino. Tear the place up and frighten the customers. I want them on the next plane out of Bolivia. You know, I wouldn't trust the cartel to tell me what's safe and what's not safe. Because I feel like whatever place the cartel thinks is safe is obviously not going to be safe. And 
never, I never trusted Cartel. Ever since I watched Breaking Bad, I've all of a sudden become an expert on him. But I digress. Um, yeah, ever since Breaking Bad, I don't know. I, I, it just made sense to me how the show played out. You know, you can't trust these guys. You can't trust people that make drugs. You can't trust people that sell drugs. Maybe if it's marijuana, but sure as hell not meth or cocaine. I'll fly. I wouldn't set foot near a resort that is funded by cocaine or drugs. Of course, I probably wouldn't know if it was, but if I did, that place is either going to be raided by the DEA, or somebody in a leather jacket, or a rival gangbanger force. Rival cocaine dealers. This makes sense. I have no idea what this means. Someone in the chat room said, friend of mine got a bad crack handle. Ended up on a negative Bluey and had a Jessup, Jessup, Jessup. It's like I'm on an alien planet, but they kind of sort of speak English. I guess this is the place. Hmm. Casino, yeah. Not as fancy as I thought it would be. But I guess for Bolivia, it's not bad. <laughs> I feel like such a dick saying that. When I say that, I mean this Bolivia. Which, according to a lot of people, is not too far off from the real Bolivia. I don't know about the real Bolivia, so I'm not gonna... Whenever I say Bolivia, I'm referencing this game, obviously. The open world of this game. Bolivia actually filed a formal complaint to France. The government, right? They filed a complaint to the government of France. Uh, complaining about Bolivia's portrayal in this game, but so far nothing's come of it, and nothing probably the will come of it. Ahead. Remember, just demo and destruction. We don't need to drop bodies to trash the place. Let's tear the roof off this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sounds like we're not gonna drop bodies at all. <laughs> Let the body hit the floor. Damn, he's got a lot of tattoos. Oh shit, 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 shit. You know what? Screw it. I'm dropping bodies. I don't care. He's history. I got a cartel snipe the roof. Shit, we better take care of that sniper. Wait until I get it fixed. I'm gonna switch to my sniper. Alright. Nice! Damn! I didn't even think that was gonna hit. I right, gonna destroy 42 machines and gambling tables. Let's do it. Shit, 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 shit. We got some of dangerously close. Down. Check your targets before you shoot. We need to add bird approaching. Stay down. Oh, fuck. I killed a civilian. Ah, whatever. Shit! Gangbangers! Alright, let's destroy these machines. We got a lot of civilians just hanging around, though. It's kind of pissing me off! I got hit real bad. That guy had a shotgun. I'm all full of buckshot now. If this is a Looney Tunes cartoon, I look like Swiss cheese. Oh shit, that's a heavy. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh god damn. Oh damn. <laughs> I am not enjoying fighting these confined spaces. You know, I actually didn't really consider the fact that eventually I would have to fight in confined spaces in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Because most of the game, obviously, is this enormous, big, wide open, spacious open world, right? And. Oh my god, there goes another civilian. Damn, whatever! <laughs> yeah! Um. I didn't really think about that. Yet, here we are. Fighting in a really, really tight, enclosed space. And where the hell is my backup? Well, there's Petey. I don't know the rest of them are. Petey is definitely the most faithful. Out of all of my fellow ghosts. Petey knows what's up. Oh shit! Oh, I botched that grenade. Oh god, there's a civilian. Son of a bitch! Alright, if we kill one more civilian, that's it, that's game over. One civilian, two civilian, three civilian, four, you're okay. But that fifth civilian, watch out! Alright, how many more machines we got? Quite a few, actually. Is it just me? Or does this look like a casino out of the old west? I don't know. This isn't exactly fancy, smancy, gaudy cartel look. Looks more like, uh, here's a recreation of the Alamo's casino. Good shot. 
Alright, let's sweep and clear. We gotta be professional about this. We killed a few civilians. We've done a pretty piss poor job so far. Let's put a stop to that. I think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these. It's weird that you'd find a Santa Blanca medal inside of a gambling casino. It doesn't really seem like a military place. Alright, I don't see any hostiles in here. Let's switch to. Uh, I don't see any civilians either, so let's switch to our grenade launcher. And enjoy. Mm, yeah, that's beautiful, man. One more, one more. Oh, yeah! That's what I like to see. God, it would piss me off if a civilian just walked in front of my flare. Oh, gorgeous! This is the best upgrade in the game right here. Nice! Damn, I love that grenade launcher. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? Um, we better head downstairs. I'm missing something. Maybe it's on the outside. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Got a whole bunch of arrows. I guess I'm taking too long. Shit, those civilians are too close. Switch to munitions. Beautiful. Looks like that table is made out of springs. Alright, looks like we are almost good. Thank God Santa Blanca Cartel has some more reinforcements, or this would have been a lot more difficult. The VIPs have bugged out. The building is wrecked. The Sapper Daddy's pleased with our offering. This sure as hell should get Carzita's attention. Now, we rolling bones and did the table get blown to shit? Let's go. Wait, we missed something. Also, that was a good joke. <laughs> did you hear that? Easy. And by good, I mean corny. You got five seconds to tell me what I want to know. All right, let's see. What do I want to know? Let's, let's locate some rebel ops. I'll tell you what I know. Just don't hurt me. I have the lowdown on the Sicario leader's haunts. Let's make it part of our SB Hearts and Minds project. Oh my God, guys! There's a tiny black kitty cat right outside of my window. I'm considering showing you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to show you real quick. Oh, you should see this. Oh, he's... Oh, he... He wants to run away. I'm not gonna let him. I can't stop him, but... Uh... Where is my webcam? There it is. Don't leave. Don't leave, little guy. Good kitty. Good kitty. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Uh... Damn, he is so cute. That... That is a cute cat. That is a really cute cat. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. You stay right there. <gasps> There he is. Hello. Hello, little kid. Wait, wait, there he is. You see that thing? Look at that. Hello, little kitty cat. Who's a cutie? That's a cute little kitty cat. That's a cute. I need to clean my windows. Whatever. I got cartels to kill. All right. You stay there, little gaming buddy. That is a cute little kid. Oh, my God. He's like a Halloween cat. It's not quite black. He's more of a roasted chestnut. You know, I should have a cat cam. I think I'm going to set up a cat cam in the corner to see how long he stays there. All right. Let's see. No, it's okay, little kitty. Oh, no, no. No, you stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who's a good little kitty cat? Who's a cool little cat? Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, there he is. That is an adorable cat. Man, I like him, I like him. Kind of considering taking him inside. All right, uh, Lambo time. Wait, where are we going again? I have a feeling that we gotta destroy someone else in this casino. Let's check out the intel. Check it out in stairwell. How are all my teammates gonna fit in this thing? It's like a two-seater. Actually, it's probably one of those two-seaters that has two really, really tiny seats in the back, behind the two front seats, that are really the only two seats in the car. God, I hate those seats. Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> you should not be, uh... Uh, having your big gigantic fuel convoys that fuel your cocaine distribution roll it right past your uh, cocaine sponsored fuel casino and resort. That's just 
This seems like a bad mix. Really bad combination. But, uh, oh man. I don't know if you guys are tall. Like, if you're over six foot, six five, something like that. And if you've ever ridden the back of a Mustang or the back of a Camaro. Oh, it's hell. God, I hate it. It's almost worse than flying in a plane. I do not fly, I do not like flying in a plane. I enjoy the plane. I enjoy the altitude. I enjoy all that, but I do not at all enjoy the leg room because I got no leg room. My legs are just, I'm two here. they're just, they're just smashed. Container. Just smashed and they're packed like a clown car. Alright, we gotta kill some more guys before we can get this intel. I'm looking at Mr. Kitty Cat in the corner. Hey! Yay! Yay, that's the cute little kitty. Oh! God, I love cats. Hey, maybe Dobie will come by the window and you guys will get to see him. Shit, shit, shit! You talk, you die. Come in. You got five seconds to tell me what I want to know. I like how we just bitch slap him around. I'll tell you what I know. Just don't hurt me. I'm about oh, uh, for those of you guys that were asking, I'm about six five, and planes they kill me. They murder my knees. I hate it. I can't wait to oh shit 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 shit. Stop computering. We get a recording of those two bumping uglies and blackmail them. That might be enough to get the rest of the VIPs to leave. Good job, teammates. You killed the son of a bitch that was shooting at me. It was like half buried in the mud, too. Perfect. Wonderful. Actually, it kind of looks like he's a fresh grave and his body just like, floated up to the surface after heavy rain. That must be a sick sight. Apparently, it was pretty common back in the Middle Ages. You know, before our culture was enlightened enough to invent stuff like McDonald's and McNuggets. But we wouldn't seconds. dig what the graves deep enough sometimes, and the bodies would just float to the surface. Well, they wouldn't float to the surface, obviously. But it would rain, and they would just be carried to the surface via mud and science shit. I don't know how that works. Alright, where do we go next? Mm, that's just a lieutenant. We don't have to worry about him. Alright, uh... not that far. We have intel that an important politician has arranged a secret tryst with a high-priced escort at the resort. Get a drone into position and record the politician in a compromising situation. Now that sounds like fun. Oh my god, Kitty's looking at you guys! Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Look at the camera. Oh, you're a natural. Oh, you're a natural. That's right. That's right, just like that. Make sure we have this selected again. There's this a cat's distracting the hell out of me. Oh who's using Carzita's resort to oh hide his flings with He's local escorts. About the camera. Get close to this asshole That's and record so his next little fling. We'll post it all over social media and embarrass him Shit, and the cartel both. Give me a sec. All right. I, I think we're gonna have to turn off the kitty cam. It's distracting the hell out of me. What are you doing? You climbing the screen? Wait. There we. There we go. Now you guys can see him. I don't know, what do you think? Should I adopt him? Who says this? Just a little ball of black fluff. Well, not black fluff. Dark brown fluff. Alright, Carla, what do you got? There's a high-profile politician who's using Carzita's resort to hide his flings with local escorts. Get close to this asshole and record his next little fling. We'll post it all over social media and embarrass him and the cartel both. <laughs> Sounds like one hell of a plan. And I'm gonna take Lambo to this very important mission. How you doing, Lambo buddy? Kind of dirty. Take a car wash, clean you off. Can we bring this thing back as a war trophy? So, uh, soldiers returning back from World War II would often bring Lugers back home to the States, or even 1911s. But mainly Lugers mm, from Nazi officers that were found dead or that they killed. Well, 
I'm a soldier, technically. I'm, I'm a ghost, really, so I'm more of a special operations agent or operative. But, but could, could I, could I take this Lambo back as a war prize, a war trophy? It'd be one hell of a war trophy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell was that? Uh, that's a car. That yeah, I, I didn't want to know. Whatever. I got my Lambo. Whatever. Let's go find this politician. This thing is fast. You know what? I I don't think that Lando's handled this well on uh, dirt roads. I don't know why, but I, I just don't quite believe that. There we go. Ah, damn it. Yeah, there. Good enough. Good enough. Now you can see his ears. You can't even really see his face. It's too dark. This is so much better than a face cam. Who well, wants a face cam when they can have a cat cam? Stupid little neck. Look at him. Little chubster. Little chubby, tiny baby kitty. It's your little kitty. Hello, little kitty. Oh, he's so stupid. You do stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Now, stop being so cute. Distracting my driver. I bet Jeff would eat him. Apparently, male cats, like adult male cats, hate baby kitties. They hate kittens. They will eat kittens. In fact, it, it's a thing. It, I'm not bullshitting you guys. It's a thing. You have to keep adult male cats away from kittens because they'll try to eat them. Like really, really tiny kittens. Some, I mean, male cats, I, I'm sure not all of them will, but some of them definitely will. And you can Google if you don't believe me. It's kind of like a reversal of that Black Widow thing, you know, a Black Widow mate with a male Black Widow. That's what male Black Widows are called. And after it has children, it will then eat the male. Maybe it'll eat the male during having children. And there he goes. Kitty's gone. So good. say goodbye to Kitty Cam. Kitty Cam's leaving us. I'm kind of sad to see it go. I, I could I could park Jeff's butt somewhere. Let you guys watch Jeff on a cat cam. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Oh, God damn it. Why'd you have to say that? Well, let's back it on up because we got ourselves a weapons case. Yo, this better be a weapons case and not some sort of an attachment case. Oh, cool. We got food, too. I can go for some food myself. Alright, so this is actually a weapons case. Okay. Awesome. No, that's an attachment case. Damn it! Damn it! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! Almost didn't see that guy. Target down. See a second target. God, that's fun. The gunplay in this game is top notch. All good, all clear. A lot of people describe this game's gunplay as division gunplay, Going but honestly, I feel like this gunplay may be a little refined, or more refined than the division. I mean, the division came out a few years ago now, so. Well, I think it's like a year old now, not a few years old. But in video game world, that is a few years old. It's like decades old at this point. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they refined the gunplay a little bit. And it feels outstanding. It's really addicting, firing guns in this game. And the guns feel different enough. Like, this sniper rifle feels like worlds apart from uh, my silenced assault rifle that I've got. And I don't even have that many guns. I've got like 10, I think. Maybe a little more than 10. My girlfriend has some different guns, and I've tried some of those. Papa Cal was once a major coffee but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group Rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocalero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocaleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the Cocoleros and disrupt Madricoca's production. 
Kind of reminds me of that. What the hell is going on over there? You hear that? Anyway, that mission kind of reminds me of that one mission in Far Cry 3. Let's keep this quiet. Where you had to burn down this cocaine field? I got one narco. Pretty dope. Still sticking close to that Santa Blanca pickup. It's a good mission. I liked it. Drone is airborne. All right, let's see what kind of people we got in here. Nice villa, damn. So this is where the sexy little truce is gonna happen, huh? Oh shit, they checked out my car. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Keep it quiet. Well, it was pretty sweet before I dinged it up, but rover. whatever. <laughs> you hearing this shit? Oh shit! <laughs> Bowman wouldn't get off on this. Screw that! Somebody better hold me back. I'm gonna jump in there and join him. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! Just make sure you get a good shot of his face. What? What do you want me to do? Oh my God! Hey, that's not bad. Hey, that's not bad. Are we good? Beautiful. Can I can I go back in there? I'm gonna go back in there. Damn it! Drones on cooldown. Shit. Yo, cartel gunman. I don't see. All right, it's back. Oh shit! Cartel gunman's here. Oh damn! Shit! 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 That's gunfire! Ah! Ah! You ruined! You wrecked it! Shit! Shit! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, even through gunfire, they keep going on. Yeah, they know what's up. They know what's up. Yeah, slap him. What's slap him dirty. That? Whatever the fuck it was, we got it. Because it is days as a cartel pimp are over. Oh, watch that shit again. We're watching that shit again, Petey. Don't you worry about it, man. I got your back. Oh, his knees are red. I wonder what he was doing. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Now fooling around, literally and figuratively. Oh shit, they got snipers. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? That's a kill. Luckily I outsniped this sniper ass. Ooh, charger! Alright, let's take the dodge charge and let's get the hell out. Is that charger? Yeah, it's a charger. Kind of. Mostly. Alright, where are we going from here? Not there. Uh Three out of six missions done. All right, I guess we gotta go collect some intel. So let's go over to the mansion next door. Two mansions side by side. Wonderful. Oh man, this car's a lot more sluggish than the Lambo was. Yeah. Oh man, this thing is slow as hell. Shit. Shit. All right, we're going Rambo. I promised you guys we would go Rambo at some point, and honestly, we already have, but we're doing it again. Oh shit, they're on the outside. Are they? No, they're on the inside, thank god. If they're on the outside, I'd be screwed. Alright, my boys are moving in from the front gate, I'm gonna move in from the side gate. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, yep, nope. Can't do that. Still snuck up on their piggly asses. Yeah, I can't move in from here. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the front. Damn it! Missed my shot. As soon as he plays peekaboo. Beautiful. I think those are all the bodyguards. Let's sweep and clear. Alright, time for interrogation. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a sec, wait a sec. Those are not all the bodyguards. Shit, where are these guys? Alright, what the hell do you know? Clear on my side. Pinche cabron. You got five seconds to tell me what I want to know. Tell me where the bodyguards are, I'm gonna shove your head in a Taco Bell toilet. I'll tell you what I know, just don't hurt me. I love that the exact second he said, just don't hurt me, I pistol whip his head in oblivion. <laughs> He's not even gonna remember that altercation after that. Wait, what's this gun? What's this gun? Oh, it's interesting. PP-19, huh? Okay. I actually remember this gun. This is really cool. Really high rate of fire. I respect a good high rate of fire. Hack. Okay. Yeah, let's watch how he hacks. That's not bad. That's actually pretty neat. Bowman thinks taking him out will help draw Carzita back. Let's move. I like how succinct our guy is. You know, one of our uh, boys asks him a question, and he answers in, like, a sentence. 
Maybe two. That's great. The cartel's gearing up for a supply run to some of the remote bases. They're fueling up a cargo plane now. We could do the rebels a solid and get those supplies for them. Take the plane and fly it to a friendly strip. Nothing to it. These guys are so succinct. They're just so damn efficient with their words. I aspire to be that succinct. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later. Alright, we're good, we're good. Let's get out of here. With that Lambo, of course. Of course, natural. Actually, we'll probably go for the helicopter. What's better, a Lamborghini or a helicopter? Carzita's the cartel's front man, but it's his assistant that keeps the resort running. Take him out, and we'll force Carzita's hand. Okay. So she doesn't have to explain herself. She is a wonderful missions operator. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. That's <laughs> a lot of confidence. That's the, that's the last thing you want to hear when a pilot gets in the plane or helicopter. Um, but yeah, Carla, whatever her name is, our missions operator, she makes me want another Splinter Cell game. Um, obviously, Splinter Cell has a missions operator. He always has. That's just how Sam rolls. Or rather, that's how, um, what does he work for again? He doesn't work for the CIA. He works for the NSA, the National Security Administration. Uh, the NSA always uses handlers, and we have handlers ourselves. The handlers are pretty big in the Tom Clancy world. I love handlers, but they always make me think of uh, Splinter Cell, so whenever I hear one, I just want to play more Splinter Cell, I just want more Sam Fisher, maybe one day. Of course. Does this assistant have any identifying characteristics? Nothing we're 100% on. You should have a few listening devices in your loadout. Try bugging some of the areas where a lot of the VIPs hang out. One of them could give us the assistant's location. I'll call you when we hear something, and remember, the bugs won't be worth shit if they spot you. Copy that. Stay out of sight, people. Plant the bugs in Diddy Mao. Don't even cast a shadow. Good old Snoop and Poop. You got it. Shit. Shit. So this is kind of like a Splinter Cell mission. Complete stealth. Oh, fuck. Yo, two cartel gunmen. Close to the camp entrance. Oh, fuck. Guys, I accidentally used a gun without a silencer. I forgot I picked up that damn peepee. -pee. <laughs> I forgot I picked up the damn peepee. -pee. <laughs> Yeah, PP-19 is the bane of my existence at this moment. Alright, that was nice and quiet. I got a Sicario with a Shit! Still all right. uh, no, it wasn't! No, it wasn't! Dear God! Someone must have seen the bodies. Now, I don't have God, to kill anybody on this mission if I don't want to, but... See... I don't like loose ends. Tango number three. So it's not me being careless. It's, it's not me lacking stealth, leaving a whole trail of bodies. Uh -uh. I, I just don't like loose ends. That's totally what it is. I, I don't have a weakness. No, 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 of course not. I wouldn't admit I that. Alright, looks like we got everybody spotted. Let's do it. Take care of the heavy first. Move up for a sink shot. Go prone for this. I'm not taking any chances this time. Alright. I'm gonna have PD take the guy to the right. I'm gonna take the guy to the left. Come on, PD, acquire the Good damn target. Beautiful. Fuck. Hold on. Nice. Nice. Alright, there's just two more. Oh, that I know of. Shit, <laughs> there could be one bodyguard that I've been missing this entire time, but um we gotta watch out for those two bodyguards, because, unfortunately, they're on the same patrol route, so... I'm gonna need to do an acquired shot. Alright, I'm gonna need to do a sync shot with Petey. Petey's our resident sniper. And if we do that successfully, this mission's gonna be a cakewalk. Because those guys will not worry us anymore. They're not gonna find any bodies, we're not gonna have any loose ends. It's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful! Alright. Say the word, boss. Beautiful. Good job, PD. Alright. That's all of them. Let's place the rest of these bugs and let's get out of here. What are we gonna do with these bodies, though? Because these bugs are gonna be useless if, uh... He comes back up to his place, right? And he finds, like, six dead bodyguards. All with headshots. Yeah. I don't think these bugs are ever gonna see any action in that case. Bugs are in place. They should pick up enough dirt for Bowman to get the location on Carzita's assistant. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out. 
I love the main character. He's great. Hang on, I'll drive. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Catch up? Do you have a Lambo? No? Well, I don't think you're gonna be doing any catching up, Petey. Alright, uh, let's see where we go from here. That was beautiful. Oh shit, we gotta go back to the resort. Alright! This assistant is as popular as a JV cheerleader on the pill. The bugs picked up a guest mentioning where he is. I'm sending you the location now. Tango Mike. Don't waste any time with this guy. Just kill him and be done with it. Roger that. No matter. Fuck yeah. Just kill him and be done with it. Karen, I love you. Also, did you sound a little bitter? The way she talked about cheerleaders, I don't know. Look like Karen, they have a little bit of bad blood carried over from high school. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna enjoy this Lambo. Enjoy this drive, even though I can't see shit! I just totaled this thing, didn't I? Yup. Oh, man. We got a million different things. That's not gonna bang out. I'd love to take this Lambo to any mechanic in Bolivia. Like, in this surrounding area, just a regular mechanic, not a skilled mechanic or a luxury mechanic. Just, you know, just the guy in the shanty shack. And he's just like, oh, shit. Man, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't have insurance. I don't know if you, if you have insurance, being a cocaine dealer or whatever, affording this Lamborghini in this area, but uh, listen, man, I don't want my hands chopped off. Actually, uh, I was I was born in Haiti, and Haiti, a punishment, like, during the 90s for uh, stealing something was having one of your fingers cut off. Holy shit. I remember my uh, parents and their friends talking about that. And, uh, yeah, that's how my father lost the finger. No, no, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, that actually is a form of punishment. Chopping off a finger for stealing something. I can't remember what country this was in, but another punishment that I remember that's really, uh, disgusting or extreme was wrapping somebody in barbed wire Attaching that to a horse or a car and dragging them to the street. I don't remember what that was for, but it must be something really bad. Like uh, mixing ketchup with your scrambled eggs instead of using real tomatoes. Or putting pineapples on a pizza. I don't know what kind of monster does that. Pizzas are for pepperoni, salami, beef, not pineapple. No, sir. What the hell do you see it? Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, that pilot sucks almost as much as I do. Uh, the helicopter just bounced off the ground, and there were a bunch of sparks. I thought it blew up, it didn't blow up, came close to it, but it, it's still flyable. Well, I wouldn't call that flying. Aaron says, I have cookies and milk. I'm jealous. I got a gallon of purified drinking water, great value. That's all I got. I'm hungry. I'm hungry! I don't have anything to eat. I, I got nothing right now in the house. I got some fish oil. I drank some fish oil today and uh, it tasted like lemon. Oh man, it was delicious. I'm feeling great. So, yeah, to summarize my day. Uh, got a cut. It's a great cut. It's a little itchy. I've been picking at it. Drank some fish oil, and I'm feeling good. Killed some, uh, killed some gangbangers. Stole a few Lamborghinis. Told one of them. On my way to tow the next one, uh, watched two people having sex with my drone. Unbeknownst to them, they didn't know I was watching them have sex, but I enjoyed it. PD enjoyed it. And, yeah, then, um, I fired off my pee, -pee when I shouldn't have. That's, that's my day. How's your day? Oh, looks like we're here. This doesn't look like a resort. room's getting awfully triggered from that whole pineapple ordeal. I'm sorry. I don't do pineapple on pizza. And if you do that, you're defiling the pizza. You don't put apple slices on a pizza unless it's a dessert pizza. Alright? Why would you put pineapple on a pizza? Don't bring me that salty sweet bullshit. Salty sweet belongs with, with chocolate covered potato chips. Chocolate covered pretzels. Let's not get weird with it. Normally I'm all for getting weird with stuff, but not, 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 not pizza. It's sacred. Oh shit. Hey, oh god damn. The... That's a kill. Damn it. Damn it. 
Damn it! I acquired that shot last second and I thought he would get it, but he didn't. He didn't. I shouldn't have done that. That's alright, this is just a good old-fashioned hit job. And you know what? The more of his bodyguards we take down noisily, the more afraid he's gonna be. And I want this prep's gonna be pissing his pants by the time I'm done with him. Well, by the time I'm done with him, he's gonna be pissing his pants with blood. Because we're not gonna interrogate him, we're gonna kill him. Just like, straight up, good old fashioned slugfest. It's gonna be an all you can eat buffet of lead. Is that all of them? No, they're in the building. Okay, this is their turf. They're familiar with the surrounding area, so let's sweep and clear. Let's be cautious about this. Damn. Kimbo Uzis. That's pretty that's pretty badass, man. Shit. 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 Yo, that was good. That was good. He was hiding behind a small barricade. It was low enough where I didn't think anyone would be behind it. But uh he was well hidden enough where he was just completely completely obscured. I should have been more careful than that. I mean we're going Rambo, we're trying to scare the piss out of this guy, but I don't have to be stupid about it. How the hell was he crouching that low? Amazing. Must have been the cocaine. Got eyes on Carzita's assistant. Gave him superhuman powers. Bones of elastic man. Shit, I'm out of ammo. The assistant is down. I say again, the assistant is down. Won't be long till Carzita has to come handle his business personally. You know, Karen's a great operator and everything, but I feel like she's got a chip on her shoulder. I feel like she's not just doing this because it's in the best interest for our operation, but I feel like she's also doing this because she's got a chip on her shoulder when it comes to parties and popular people. I don't know. I don't know. I think she's just trying to make people sorry. Oh shit, that was a civilian. Oh god. I'm bad about that. I, how many civilians have I killed now? That's it's gotta be like a... No, that's like a sick this live stream, actually. I have killed a lot of innocent people. Check it out. I should feel bad about that. Kind of scares me that I don't. Nice. I found a pretty nice rifle. Yeah, that is pretty nice. I'm gonna test it out right now. Question is, what do we swap out for it? I guess the G36C. Oh yeah, let's just check this thing out. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, let's actually keep the foregrip instead of the underbarrel grenade launcher, but this is a nice looking gun. What can we do with the muzzle? It's suppressor worthy. I like that. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, meet SR3M. Right, let's get out of here. What if Lambo's still okay? How did you get your copy so soon? Because Ubisoft and Ghost Recon Team are uh, their bros. They really are. Ubisoft is really cool. I have enjoyed working with them on a few different launches. I've, uh, uh, they've given me early copies of a few of their different games to test out, you know, stream, share with you guys, tell them what I think, and yeah, feedback. Good little improvement thing the wrong way. Of course, Ubisoft has actually been pretty great about uh, gathering feedback. Uh, look at Rainbow Six Siege. They've done a great job with uh, gathering feedback for that. They've done a great job gathering feedback for The Division. I remember they changed quite a few things uh, between beta and launch of that, as they are doing with Ghost Recon. Karzid is going for broke, staging a lavish party to try and win back his most valuable guests after the mess you made in Agua Verde. Crash the party and grab Karzida. His days as a high roller are done. Karen, I like this fiery size you got. Tell you what, I'm gonna do in style. Don't you worry, I'm not gonna disappoint you this time. You're a wonderful operative, fantastic operator, and you know I don't deserve you. 
Pity! Pity maybe deserves it, but I don't deserve it. I go ramble all the time. Shit. I, I've killed like 10 civilians in the last hour. You, 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 you deserve better care, and I'm gonna start giving you better. Right now, and I'm not drunk calling you, I swear. Oh, Karen, I've got a good plan. Oh, you'd love it. Oh, I wish you are here to see it. He's throwing a lavish party. You don't want any civilians killed? Don't know if I can promise that, but shit. Listen, it's storming. It's lightning. The moon is set. It was a dark, stormy night, and I'm rolling up in a beautiful white helicopter with four miniguns. Apocalypse now. Ba oh, shit. I just killed another civilian. Damn it. Damn it. Whatever. Whatever. We got this. Oh my god, look at that firepower. That's just two of the four miniguns we got on this thing. Alright. Let's go crash this party. Damn, this is a slick looking alley. I kinda wanna see this resort that he's got, or party mansion? What is this place? This has gotta be a party mansion, the resort. We just left that. That was on one of these coastlines. This is in the middle. That boy does not know when to fucking quit. How do you mean? We turned that resort upside down. Did everything but burn the place to the ground and salt the damn ashes. Anybody else would have taken the hint, but Carcita? That son of a bitch throws himself a party. He's going all in. If he doesn't make a big splash... Hold on. Holy shit. Four helis. Damn! Alright, let's take him out. Well... We're gonna back it up. Looks like we back found Carcita's party. How they Wait. <laughs> that was very prompt of our main character. Oh, I can't steer this thing. Let's just lower ourselves fire, slowly. Fire, fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This thing is so difficult to control. Wait, there we go. No, there we don't go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get back to it. How the hell are we supposed to find Garcia in the middle of all that? Stay out of sight. Search the crowd until we spot Carcita, then we move in. Hold on. This is definitely not like Battlefield 4. Oh shit. Alright, we got a new target. This is our new focus. Well, come on, guys, open fire! This is a four minigun helicopter! It feels like I only got two miniguns! What's going on? Alright, I don't know what the hell's happening with my teammates, but they're seriously dropping the ball here. I know I may not be the best pilot, but dear God, let's fire some mini guns, guys! Ah, screw it. Let's just bring her in for landing, and we'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll test out the new rifle that we got. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah, these things are invincible. I don't know what's going on there. Let's focus on the mission. We turned that resort upside down. Did everything but burn the place to the ground and salt the damn ashes. Anybody else would have taken the hint, but Carcita? Where to dress up for this party? Think I'm gonna go to a party in a dirty old duster? No. This is a costume party. And I'm going appropriately. I'm going as Big Boss. That's set up. Hold on. It's raining. It's lightning. We got rifles. I got a cigar in my mouth, which is still lit despite the rain. Super Commando. I got an eye patch. I'm gonna treat this like a Metal Gear Solid mission. Well, Metal Gear Solid combined with uh, Call of Duty. Somewhere in between. That was a nice tuck and roll. Appreciate that. A little bit of a French spin on this. This isn't like much of a party. I don't see any guests. I just see some servants. Did Wait, there's a guest. Burn the place to the ground and salt the damn ashes. Anybody else would have taken the hint, but Carcita? That son of a bitch throws himself a party. He's going all in. If he doesn't make a big splash and try to reassure his VIP guests, they'll desert Agua Verde for good. That's bad for business. Not to mention his health. If he doesn't turn this thing around, he's got to answer to El Sueño. Got eyes on our boy Carzita. Oh shit, where's Carzita? Do not kill Carzita. We need the HBT alive to give up what he knows. Copy that. Anyway, look at this guy. This guy's got the right idea. Everybody else is ducking. Her pants are painted on, and he's just he's just dancing. I don't know what kind of dance it is, but I'm digging it. Ah, I messed up his rhythm. Don't get self-conscious, man. You're doing great. Think I can wear this with my class A uniform? Oh shit! Hands, there's the Prexican. He's move. inside. Relax, eh? I'm not doing anything. Watch it, Nako. 
This suit is worth more than everything you own. It ain't worth shit if it's covered in your blood. This is in front of his party guests. Why not? Let's do it in the pool. Ah! Oh, Sam, this is bullshit. I want to talk to my lawyer. Lawyer? Ah! We're in the big leagues, asshole. The only thing your lawyer can do now is make sure your will's in order. Hey, hold on now. Let's work this out. How much money do you want? 500,000? I can do it! It's easy for me! You know who my father is? Ah! I don't give a fuck about money, Carcita. I work for the U.S. government. We spend billions of dollars on hand sanitizer alone. Pork barrels, fuck face! Ah! What do you want from me? I want a list of names of everyone who's ever visited your little resort. I don't know, man! Te lo juro! All right, fine! You didn't get this from me! But all the guests info start on a server, okay? Gah! Best interrogation ever! Damn, that was glorious. Alright, where's the server at? <laughs> we spent billions on hand sanitizer alone, fuck face. Beautiful. I love our character. I thought he was a bland at first when I played the beta, but no, 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 I was wrong. He's got character. I thought they made him a blank slate so, you know, it could be you, but no, no, he is no blank slate. He is a barrel, a pork barrel, full of personality. We've got intel on a server containing a list of VIPs who've had ties with Carzita's resort. Hack the server and get me that list. We got like four or five helicopters to get there too. So that's kind of convenient for us. What's in this PC? Skill points, okay. You know, if our guy wanted to give up being a ghost, he could easily be a computer hacker. He was ridiculously fast. What did that take? 10 seconds? I think it was 10 seconds. I... I, I can't... I can't even, uh... I can't even find a recipe in 10 seconds. I spend like 5 minutes looking at the ingredients, trying to figure out if I have them in the house or not. Uh... <laughs> probably another 10 minutes deciding if this is the best possible recipe. Should I go for home style or gourmet? On the one hand, homestyle, that's hearty. It's gotta be delicious. On the other hand, gourmet probably has a little better, uh, you know, calorie proportions, better protein content. And then you got the restaurant style, which is probably deep fried and slathered in grease. That is obviously the best tasting option, but I usually go for homestyle. It's a good mix of all three. What the hell is this? Oh, shit. Oh shit, that's a new dad. Oh shit, that's a new dad. Oh god. Uh, they are the most dangerous thing that could come after us, actually. So, let's make sure work of these guys. We cannot allow them to run away. They're too dangerous. They're going down? They are going down! And so am I. Guys. Uh, we're supposed to get to the resorts to hack a server to get information, but... We're going there in style. Woo! Yeah, baby! Oh, God. Oh, God! All right, this is not how I wanted this to go down. Well, I'm trying to get to one of those swanky boats. We're going to speedboat our way to the server, Bond style. And, okay, that wasn't as cool as an interest that I had. Petey, Holt, Scooter. Follow my lead. These are backup singers. They're not, they're not lead singers. Big boss over here. Sleepy. He's the lead singer. What do we go for? Black, blue, or blue? We're going for black. Because it's less common. Oh, shit. That's the helicopter carcass. <laughs> it's going to make a nice artificial coral reef. Somebody has not been slathering this dock up in dock oil. It's getting all nasty. Getting all kinds of pot marks. Oh, that one's not black. It's... Destroyed? I can't seem to. Oh, so that's how you get in. Go okay. On. Let's go. From the roof. That makes sense. Oh, I forgot. Check this out. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty cool little feature. Look at this. So, at the size of the boat, obviously we're making some waves, you know, in the wake of the speed that we're going. And you're actually going to see that make 
ripples across the water. Gets into the open. Legitimate oh, hell's gonna break ripples. Loose. The cartel's going to lose connections all over the world. I would not want to be Carzita when El Sueño finds out. I heard that. He'd best find some place where Santa Blanca can't get to him. Like Mars or the bottom of the fucking Mariana's Trench. Carzita will be fine. People like him always find a way to survive. He'll probably drop out of sight and turn up in a year or two, running a resort on the fucking Riviera. Guy looks out for drunks and fools. And sleazy motherfuckers named Carzita. Wait. Really? You think he's gonna be fine? You just made an enemy of El Sueño. See, I don't buy that. I don't buy that for a minute. This guy's job was pretty important. He seems like he's just running a resort, but he's not. He is... He is getting connections for purchasing cocaine. He has a lot of high-profile clientele. A lot of important people. And those are business connections for El Sueño. So, now that he has royally screwed that up, how do you think El Sueño is going to feel about all that? I have a feeling he's going to be mighty pissed. And I would not want to deal with El Sueño when he is pissed. Oh shit, snipers. Oh, they're behind me! They're in front of me, they're everywhere! You know what, I'm going to take that uh, warning seriously, let's actually fall back. Shit! Damn it! Need to revive. Stop. Anybody? Ah, yeah, they're coming in. Sort of. Kept me waiting, huh? Sorry for the corny reference, but I appreciate the revive, though. Seriously. Marking a captain. Uh, new plan. After we take these guys out, we're going to cease the Rambo activities. I want to go back to stealth because I just realized that we spent the beginning of the live stream doing some stealth stuff, but the majority of it we'll be doing Rambo, so we should do some stealth. We shouldn't do the entire stream Rambo. Although it is really fun. It's like, uh, it's like a drug cartel invasion playground. It's almost like a wave-based shooter. Nice and easy. We don't even need to engage these guys unless we want to. All we have to do is go where we think the server's gonna be. There, next to the mortar. And we'll be good. I think the server may be in that large building over there. It's got a satellite on it. Ah, maybe that one actually. I don't know. We'll check all of them. I definitely want this gun piece. I got eyes in a weapons case. Shit, this might be a little difficult to get out without them seeing me. Yeah. Ah, forget about it. We'll get it later. This feels like a mix of Assassin's Creed and Rainbow Six Siege. Crawling across rooftops. Target down. Hang back before they spot you. Still haven't been spotted. Thank God. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't trust that guy on the inside. Not a bit. We gotta take him out before we move up. He's too dangerous. Oh man, redness is gone. Watch your step. These guys know I do love me some sunsets. Oh shit, that's the mortar. That's what was firing at us earlier. Oh shit. Damn. We have been so close to being spotted so many times. It's unreal. Honestly, 
Just by just by odds of numbers, we Set have to be spotted the next time they see us. Shit! Damn my odds of numbers! Damn them! Actually, I don't think you had time to alert anybody. I think this is the server. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. Let's see how long it takes us to hack this thing. Ooh, it's orange. Yep. That's what I thought. Orange computers take longer to hack. Starting download. Stay sharp. Shit, listen. That's a helicopter. Son of a bitch! Oh, no. No! No! I don't like this. I don't like this. I need something to shoot that guy down with. Fuck, 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 fuck. If he doesn't sit still, it's gonna be nearly impossible to snipe this son of a bitch. Helicopters are so hard to hit with a sniper rifle. Damn. Close, but no cigar. Yeah, I gotta fall back. I gotta fall back. It's too dangerous. You know, where are the sand launchers in the base that we take over? They're suspiciously absent. I don't know if I can get in this thing and still have a count as me defending this position, but I kind of want to just fly up and take him down. I don't trust that though. It's it's not gonna count it. We gotta stay on the ground if we're gonna defend this thing. I just know it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Damn it! Shit, I'm down. What? What? Oh, kill me now! What was that? Where did I go down? I must have went down previously, but I don't remember where. If you go down twice in an engagement, you're done for. You're dead. That's it. You got two chances. If you waste them, it's over. I don't know how the hell I wasted them. Where the hell are we? What? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Do we have a boat at least? No. No, we do not have a boat. That's some supplies though, I guess that's okay. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Oh shit. That boat's got a motor on it. Can we actually drive this thing? Yes, we can! Holy crap! I didn't expect that. Usually Buckle you can't up, drive people. shanty boats like this. Well. Not really driving a boat, are you? Pilot a boat? Oh, I'm rusting my boat terms. This is a pretty good place to enter. All right, let's go from the back this time. Yeah, this doesn't look suspicious. This doesn't look suspicious at all. A boat full of four heavily armed, muscular guys with beards. That's yeah, probably just fishermen. What are they fishing out with guns instead of hooks? That makes sense. No eyes in the sniper. Let's see if Droney has eyes. Deploying wait, drone. wait, 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 wait. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Shit. Tango knows somebody's got a beat on. Shit. Shit. Fuck me. Fuck me. I swear, I don't. I don't know. I usually miss that much. You guys see my shots? Usually they're pretty good. Well, they gotta be good now, cause uh, we're, we're we're bone, we're screwed. Let's go to the guard tower. Let's take them out. Why not? Shit! Balls. Mortar fire. All right, mortar guys down. What else we got? Damn it! I got this. Fuck, we got mortars incoming. That was close. I actually thought the windage might be off, but I don't think there is windage in this game. This is less of a full-on simulator, more of a quasi-simulator. I'm okay with that. I mean, if you want a full-on simulator, you already got armor, so... 
<laughs> may as well play that. Armor is not on consoles, however. But if you want to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They are back on the mortar. If you want a full-on simulator, you kind of have to use a mouse and keyboard for that. There's just... Shit, 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 shit! There's far too many keys and inputs and controls to use a controller for a full sim. Operation Flashpoint Dragon Horizon tried to do it with the console, but didn't quite work out. Decent game, though. I enjoyed it. Loving that double Uzi action. Alright, where are the rest of these guys? I don't have... There they are. Cool. Looks like they're below the server room, so we should be able to grab... Yeah, well... Okay, yeah. We should be able to grab the server room, sweat. Still, let's sweep and clear, because we don't know exactly what we're going to find. Yep. Like that. Luckily, he wasn't sweeping clearing. Okay, orange computer screen hack V2. I was about to say, this place is going to be swarming with gang, but holy shit, look at that. Look at that. They got a minigun. I was about to say, this place is going to be swarming with gangbangers, but it already is. Killed a few of them, but not nearly enough. Alright, helicopter's on the way. Let's get to it. Shit, we got a sniper. Shit, two helicopters! Oh, that is bullshit. That is such bullshit! I don't know how the hell we're gonna defend against two helicopters. We don't have any SAMs. We have a... We have a chopper, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be able to actually get inside of it and utilize it whilst defending this location. It's gonna give me a game over, I almost guarantee it. Because my guys are going to teleport inside of the helicopter with me. At least, that's how it usually works. It's not happening right now. What the? Helicopter's done for! Shit! Son of a bitch! I don't know how the hell they took it out, but they took it out. So, uh, that's no longer an option. We just got to stay on the ground for a minute and 45 seconds more and we'll be good. Sniper's got Maybe. Damn. Damn. God, I hate sniping helicopters. Honestly, you don't even need to snipe these things if you don't want to. You could just uh, fire them with a machine gun and it'll be just as effective. Sniper, get the fuck down. Yeah, this ain't working out. Still, we just have a minute left. These snipers should get off their butts, get out of the helicopter, and attack us. Because if they did that, it'd be far more effective than what they're doing right now. We could just stay in the building. I don't even have to go outside of the building. We could win. Right here, right now. But I don't like playing like that, so I'm just gonna keep looking out for the... eventual, inevitable assault forces coming on the ground. Oh, shit. Oh shit! I think they're here. Now nah, that was the helicopter shooting us again. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't had any more ground forces. I'm pretty sure that the only way that they can actually shut this hack down is by going on foot to the servers. Or killing us, but that's not gonna happen this time. So close. This is gonna be so satisfying. Damn it. Just a few more shots and he's going out. They're coming right for us. If I can hit him! There we go. I'm liking that black smoke. Damn, that was a good shot. Damn! Okay, that was impossible. I called bullshit on that shot. I was right underneath him. Maybe he just dropped the bullet. Maybe he didn't even shoot the bullet, he just dropped it. 
bullet bombed me. Speaking of bullets, I'm out. Oh shit, it's done. I didn't even realize. Demo complete. Good to go. I'm not even sure I want to know who's on that guest list. The Bilderberg group, most likely. The who? Exactly. Bowman, Agua Verde is all clear. It'll take them years to repair these relationships. Carzita's business in Agua Verde is done. Some people on that VIP list are going to get very uncomfortable meetings. Government heavies are going to ask what the fuck they were doing in Bolivia. We're doing good. Keep hitting them hard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some rewards. Ramon Feliz, blogger, academic, internet journalist. All he ever wanted was to tell the truth. But whose truth? His? Feliz thought that there is only one truth. But we know that truth, like history, is written by the winner. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So, I hired hackers to track him down and offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. All Ramon Feliz ever wanted was to tell the truth. Now he had more truth than he could bear. What the hell was that on his neck? Burn marks? Whoa! Whoa! We got some ground forces. Ah, I gotta get some cover! I'm gonna smoke that chopper though. You just wait. Wait, where'd it go? There were two. Was one destroyed? I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I think one was destroyed, actually. I thought maybe they were circling us. You know, one on each side, but that's not what's happening. They're actually our ground forces now. A little too late for the hacking job. I'm gonna check out our rewards in just a second, but there she goes! Oh, what a beautiful sight. I like that. Sniper slumped over dead. Burning alive like some delicious BBQ. Wait, actually, no. One sniper's still alive. There we go. We shot some marshmallows to roast. Alright, let's look at our rewards. We actually have some interesting rewards. We got some clothing rewards and a gun, of course. Gold sunglasses. Oh, shit. I gotta wear those. That's amazing. Look at that. That's so gaudy. Look like they're a little too small for my face. And the new gun is the Lamativo. Don't know, to, don't know what that means. Don't know how to pronounce it. A gun with more bling than bang. Decent damage, I gotta say. Actually, look at this. Oh. Uh, never mind. It has way less damage than our sniper rifle, but, uh. Wait, does it? No, it has more damage than our sniper rifle. Weird, but it has way, way less accuracy. Still, it seems like this is pretty good. I don't understand the more bling than bang. Must be super, super bling for having no bang, because it obviously does have some bang. Alright, that looks pretty cool. I gotta say, that is pretty bling. Love that drum magazine. Excellent. That's some drum magazine. Love the box magazine. Let's test this thing out. Oh, yeah. This baby barks. More bling than bang my ass. All right, gangbangers. Let's see how you like this puppy. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, shit. Grenade. Damn it. So we smoked like three of them, and we didn't have to. We didn't have to reload. Granted, we were kind of blind firing, not really aiming anywhere in particular. But that's just how effective this thing is, especially when it comes to ammunition count. Right, let's reload. Let's get a full on the box going here, and 150. Awesome. Let's make it count. Jesus Christ, the recoil is amazing. In a bad way, but it's a fun gun. I like it. Obviously, we can't put a suppressor on it. I don't think that Mr. Prepsican has ever used it, but mm -hmm, it's fun. I'm glad I never had to have another gun. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. There's two types of guns you can get in Ghost Recon Wildlands. The guns that you find on the map in boxes and the guns that you get as bounties for taking down certain individuals. Like the guy we just took down. This is our latest acquisition. So far, all the guns that we've gotten are not silent guns. We've gotten two AKs and this thing. 
which is very, very loud. And has enormous recoil. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that climb. It's amazing. Wait. Oh, I thought that one of my teammates was down. I was going to say, no, he's not. They're all standing here with me. He must have been sniped if he was taken out. But I don't think we're going to find a silent gun with the cartel. we got to find guns on the map to find silent guns. The cartel guns that we get are going to be loud because the cartel doesn't use silencers. That's not how they roll. That's not how they operate. You know what? I kind of respect that. And I certainly enjoy that. Look at it. Look at it. We gotta find a car. We gotta find a car. Let's go. Let's go to the road. I wanna blow someone up with this thing. Got 150 bullets to do so. Regardless, uh, yeah, I guess I should thank Ubisoft once again. Because they are the reason I have been adventuring with you guys today. And the day before yesterday. And, uh, I think the day before that, maybe. I don't know. We've done a couple of Ghost Recon Wildlands live streams. I've made a few videos. And it's all because they sent me the game early. So I appreciate you guys for doing that. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed Ghost Recon Wildlands, I don't think there's going to be... Well, obviously there's not going to be another beta. I don't think there's going to be a trial period for a while. So if you like what you see, go to Redbox. Rent it before you buy it. Make sure it's something you like. If you got friends to play with, if your SO likes gaming... And for those of you that don't know what SO is, it's significant other. If you got a girlfriend or boyfriend that likes gaming, if you got friends that enjoy shooters, this is a great game to play with other people. I've been playing multiplayer quite a bit, and it's a lot of fun. And I'll play some more multiplayer gameplay, of course, on the channel soon. I got a multiplayer video that's uploaded and ready to go. I'll probably publish that tonight, so be on the lookout. But if you guys want to see more Ghost Recon Wildlands, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Join our initiative in taking back Bolivia from the Santa Blanca cartel, putting it back in the hands of the people. Alright. Let's load this thing full of that. Oh my god! That was fast. What do we got? 67 bullets left. Let's see if we can blow up another car with that. How about a va- What the hell? Holt. My god, man. I that's, that either means he's a demon or an angel. Or a glitch. How the hell did I kill a civilian? Two shots in the hood of the... Recrochet. Oh, uh, I didn't even think about that. That's pretty realistic, actually. You kill someone without even meaning to because that's how dangerous guns are. You gotta be very, very careful when firing weapons. They're not toys. They're dangerous. And guns are made to kill things. So, keep that in mind if you're firing around other people. Always be aware of what's beyond what you're aiming at. What's around what you're aiming at. Never point anything that you're not willing to destroy. And there's some more rules, too. Uh, can't remember those. But here we got another car. Truck is a lot more durable. Look at this. Took 150 rounds to finally set this thing ablaze. Where's my explosion? Yeah, there it is. That was great. That was full of the dirt bike. Damn. Oh, you walked right into that. What the? That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. Took a lot of rounds to blow that thing up, too. All right, let's aim this one. And let's compensate for recoil. Shit. I think we fired about 30 rounds there. All right, how's that looking? It's black smoke. It's coming close. And it's on fire. All right, so it takes... Jesus. I don't know what that car was. It was probably a Lemon or a Ford. Because it takes a lot more than uh, 50 bullets to 100 bullets to destroy one of these things. It took about 150 bullets to destroy that truck. And almost 150 to destroy one of these dirt bikes. Regardless, thank you for joining me for our latest adventure through Ghost Recon Wildlands. It was pretty crazy. We had a sweet cut out of it. And we got to shoot up a resorts. I'm actually really excited to see what the next... What are these guys called? Bunchos! Buchan. We excited to see what the next Buchan is. We got a lot of Buchans, as you can see. Um, oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 
we got 26 heads of cartel to kill. That's a hell of a lot of missions. Because you gotta keep in mind that each one of these heads of cartel has at least six missions. And they're actually pretty neat missions. They're pretty clever. So, that's a hell of a lot of gameplay. This is a pretty good value. This is a damn good value, actually, and wonderful multiplayer. Thank you guys for joining me for this adventure. I'm gonna do some shout outs. Let me grab my phone. So, now what you gotta do, chat room people, is ask for shout outs. Just spam it, do whatever you want. And in return, I bestow upon you shout outs. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's get it on. Shout out to Bryce Myers. Shout out. Oh, they're doing an early release tonight. That's different. I don't think I've ever seen an early release for a game before. Shout out to Bryce Myers. Shout out to Brick Butthole. Shout out to Adrian Cruz. Shout out to End Zombie Gaming. Mayu Neptune. Shout out to Tier 1 Next Allie. Shout out to Samir. Shout out to Cassine Christensen. Shout out to Misdirection Studio. Shout out to I Wish I Still Had a Vehicle That Didn't Destroy. Shout out to Ian Davis. Shout out to Mr. Crofts, Frontline Master. Shout out to Lego Boss 74 Trevor Brown. Shout out to Mr. Back Jelly. That sounds kind of gross. Shout out to Maximus Good Game, The Division of 78. Shout out to Happy Bear. Shout out to Ty Rowan. Shout out to Fabry. Fabry? I think it's Fabry. Shout out to Fabry. Shout out to Kenny. Shout out to Robert. Shout out to Dap Boy. Shout out to Lloyd. Shout out to Caden Maine. Nicholas Argon, Joe Smaller, shout out to James YouTube, shout out to Darny Flash, shout out to Digital, shout out to I don't know how to pronounce that. Shout out to Shanmugan, shout out to uh it's actually scrolling too fast, got it. Uh exit out of the game, there we go. Shout out to Royalty, shout out to Caleb Jones, shout out to Annihilator, shout out to Shan Mugan Devin, shout out to CJP, shout out to Kane Waite. Kenny Anderson, shout out to Snipes887, Edward Thompson, shout out to Robert Brandt, shout out to Caleb Jones, shout out to Tanky Turge, shout out to Mr. Tyler Smith, and shout out to Gooch, Nightfire Productions, shout out to Anthony Collatz, shout out to Abro Hammy, shout out to Primes, Darny Flarsh, that's yeah, that is Flarsh. I, I thought I butchered that. Shout out to Danny Flarsh Sniffed. Danny Flarsh Sniffed. Shout out to Alex Mula, Skateboard12377. Bowling Board 214. Shout out to Mr. Jonathan, Sheriff Fluff, Calum Lavin, JD, The Huda, Shane O'Mac45. Shout out to Red Zurich. Shout out to Bryce Myers. And that is the two minute timer. So yeah, keep on the lookout tonight for a Ghost Recon Wildlands video and another one tomorrow and possibly a stream tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for joining me for this one. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. The house. Actually, I think the hardest part of the